Ho, ho, ho! No, you're not watching a young, handsome Sir Nicholas. It's me, Sai, to give you my review of Netflix's brand new movie, The Christmas Chronicles. I can't fuck with this. Christmas just happens to be my favourite time of year. The food's a lot better, the people are a lot nicer, and even the movies are better. Okay, they're not better. But I do have a strange obsession with Christmas movies and there's nothing better in my mind than sitting in on a cold winter's night and watching a good Christmas flick. You've got yourself Home Alone, you've got The Grinch, you've got The Santa Claus and now we've got The Christmas Chronicles, a new movie from Netflix brought to you by Chris Columbus who uh, directed Home Alone 1 and 2 but also brought you uh, movies like uh, Harry Potter. Stop. Kids aren't stupid. They know how it works. So what constitutes a good Christmas film? Well, straight off the bat, you need two annoying child actors. Judah Lewis and Darby can fill that mantle. His brother and sister, Ted and Kate, who are going through a bit of a rough patch at the start of the film when their father dies in the previous year. Their mother, to make ends meet, has to work as a nurse and works all through the night, and she leaves them on Christmas Eve to their own devices, to where they decide that they're gonna try and catch Santa Claus on film. Well, that brings us to the big guy himself, Kurt Russell as Santa Claus. I couldn't imagine a better casting than Kurt Russell as Santa Claus. Santa Claus? Live and in person. One night only. Can you go ho, ho, ho? I don't go ho, ho, ho. That's a myth. The best thing about Kurt Russell's Santa Claus is that they try to eliminate all the stereotypes that you see in previous films of Santa. The big jelly belly and the deep bumbling voice. Santa's a bit of a badass. Of course, when they finally catch up to Santa, then a number of things go wrong and his sleigh crash lands in the middle of Chicago. And to save Christmas, they've all got to help him try and find his way back to his reindeer. Now, although the Christmas Chronicles is a lot of fun, there's something that seems to be quite missing from the script. It's not as funny as you would expect from a Christmas film. Now, a lot of festive favorites tend to have that ch child family friendly element to it for the kids and then they have the, the kind of adult hidden jokes uh, in for the adults as well. But you don't seem to get that with Christmas Chronicles. It's, it's kind of a, they poke fun at the kind of concept of Santa. Um, you know, the big kind of belly that they see on the Coca-Cola ads, but they don't tend to, um, bring in any kind of really good, uh, good jokes. Why must they keep drawing me like that? Does my butt really look that big to you? The director Clay Cadis, who's uh, responsible for the animation on movies like Frozen and Wreck-It Ralph and his directorial debut, which was the Angry Birds movie recently. Um, you can see a lot of his influence in this film. Uh, however, the animation uh, for the elves and for the reindeer is a little bit sketchy, very cartoony, and just doesn't really get in with the feel of the film. Uh, we kind of seem to feel like we're watching two separate movies at the same time. But again, The Christmas Chronicles is a very fun movie. The kids are gonna absolutely lap it up, and it is worth watching for Kurt Russell's turn as Santa Claus. He is absolutely brilliant in the film, but is it gonna be my festive favorite? Am I gonna watch it for years and years to come? Well. Probably not, I'm afraid, but you should definitely check it out. So until next time, I'll see you nerds at the movies.